Hello and welcome to this instructional video on 2,4-dimetrophenol, also known as uh, DMP. And we're going to start off right away, um, but this time with a patient. So uh, meet John. John is a 28-year-old male who is usually in good health. However, today he's been rushed to the emergency department. He's very unwell and informs the doctors he's feeling extremely hot, has been vomiting, having diarrhea, and has an increased pulse known as tachycardia. John also presents the doctors with a box of weight loss pills he administered himself that he got online. The pills promise that up to one pound of fat can be lost per day. He said he was seeing little effects from dieting and exercising and wants to look more like his peers in the gym. He thought this drug could help him out. The doctors examine the pills and find 2,4-dinitrophenol, or DMP, to be the active ingredient. With this knowledge, the doctors are now aware of how life-threatening his condition actually is, but also know that all they can do is treat his symptoms and prioritize lowering his body temperature. There is no antidote for this. They place ice packs under his arms and groin, and intravenous fluids are given to prevent severe dehydration. So to understand what's actually happening to John here, it's uh, very important to uh, go back and look at the ingenious way that the body produces most of its ATP. And um, you might know this is from oxidative phosphorylation consisting of the electron transport chain and ATP synthase. The electron transport chain uh, consists of four different complexes and is predominantly in charge of creating a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane. NADH and FADH2 deliver electrons to complex 1 and complex 2 respectively, and through a series of mechanisms, these electrons move from one complex to the other, involving coenzyme Q and cytochrome oxidase. The electrons release enough energy so that complexes 1, 3, and 4 can pump protons from the mitochondrial matrix into the transmembrane space, creating a very important proton gradient. This proton gradient is then used to drive ATP synthase. This is a multi-subunit enzyme that allows the protons to flow back from the transmembrane space into the mitochondrial matrix. Going down the concentration gradient, means that energy is released, which is used to rotate the inner membrane, or F0 portion, of the enzyme. This, in turn, provides enough energy to turn ADP and inorganic phosphate into ATP in a mitochondrial matrix, or the F1 portion of the enzyme. In a healthy individual, this proton gradient allows ATP synthase to produce up to 100 to 150 ATP molecules per second. So now that we know what it looks like in a uh, healthy individual, um, what is DNP doing to make uh, John so very ill? Well, for starters, DNP is uh, extremely explosive. It was used in bombs during World War I. Uh, and it also used to be used as a very effective pesticide and herbicide until the end of the 20th century. Um, so in other words, it's not something that you should be putting in your body. However, more on the biochemical side, um, it is also used for uh, weight loss. And uh, that was John's intent, but it didn't go his way. So what actually happened? In uh, living cells, DMP acts as a proton ionophore. This is another word for an ion channel and can therefore move protons across a biological membrane down its concentration gradient, more specifically across the inner mitochondrial membrane. So it will allow this very valuable proton gradient that the electron transport chain has worked so hard to create and the ATP synthase complex so desperately needs to dissipate. It is as if another complex has been added next to the ATP synthase that also allows the protons to move back from the mitochondrial matrix, but without yielding any ATP. This makes the process of oxidative phosphorylation extremely inefficient and is commonly referred to as uncoupled 
oxidative phosphorylation. This is great for weight loss because suddenly a lot of energy is lost and ATP now has to be made from, uh, for example, fat stores, meaning that up to one pound of fat can be lost per day, as mentioned earlier. That's equivalent to roughly 3,500 calories of body fat. However, this, of course, comes at a very dangerous cost, one that John is now paying. So here's the actual problem that's putting John at risk. Uh, and that is that the protons flowing from the transmembrane space to the mitochondrial matrix uh, now release waste energy in the form of heat, which results in hyperthermia that he was experiencing. It doesn't end there because it also triggers a release of calcium from the mitochondrial stores and prevents calcium reuptake. And if you remember the molecular mechanisms of muscles, you know that this causes muscle contraction as the calcium binds to the troponin, changing its position and exposing the actin sites that myosin will attach to for muscle contraction. This summation of heat from uncoupled oxidative phosphorylation and muscle contractions results in the incredible heat production expressing itself in severe hyperthermia. This is experienced by John. It has been reported that patients have experienced body temperatures of up to 43.1 degrees Celsius from DNP overdosing before passing away. Fortunately, John survives after a day of trying to cool him down. He's lucky because DNP's acute toxicity can be compared to cyanide, and 18% of patients that reach the hospital with DNP overdoses pass away. Between 2007 and 2019, this resulted in 26 deaths directly related to DNP in the UK alone, a figure that might actually be much higher as it's very hard to detect DNP in post-mortems. So, to summarize, DNP is an acutely toxic weight loss substance. It uncouples oxidative phosphorylation bypassing the ATP synthase and increases calcium, which both drive the heat up. As a result, people can experience fatal hyperthermia. Luckily for John, he survived never to take DNP again. Which uh, brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've been able to learn from it and you enjoyed it. Uh, and thank you very much for listening.